Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about web apps, but more specifically, we're going to talk about how we can make them into reports from a Google Sheets data. So here I got my web app here, and I'm displaying some data here with what I'm filtering by. So say I want to pull up records with just blue in them. I can click that and it's going to show me the records from blue and basically where I'm getting this data from is a Google Sheets right here in this small table but this could be a massive table in numerous rows but I'm just going to show an example on a smaller table again I can come over here and I can select my type I can say car I'll keep the blue and I can hit submit it brings me up to that I can erase this in this and say I want a height from 0 to 100. Hit submit and it'll show me the results. So this is just a simple way to create a report for a user who doesn't want to deal with the Google Sheets but they can use this web app and access the data from the Google Sheets by just typing in a few filters and getting the results. So I'll show you how I built this, a step-by-step -step process. So let's get started. So here I got a Google Sheet called Web App Report, and uh, my first sheet name is just Sheet 1, that's the default name, and I got just this data here. That's, that's all this sheet is made up with, just this data, the sheet name Sheet 1. I'm going to add a Sheet 2 here. I'm going to call it Sheet 2. The importance of Sheet 2 is, in this calling, is I actually use query is a function part of Google Sheets to get my data from my filters on my web screen. So I use this as like a holding place to get my data and then I take this data and turn it into HTML and display it on the web screen. So right now I'm just going to leave it blank. I really don't put anything into this. I just create a sheet called Sheet 2 and I got my Sheet 1 with the data. This is the data I'll be using for the web screen to pull for my reports. So from there, we're going to go to Tools, we're going to go to Script Editor. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call it Web App Report. Hit OK. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my Google Apps script code. So there I have it copied in. I'm going to hit Save. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my HTML page. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to New, I'm going to go to HTML File. And I'm going to call this Web App. I'm going to hit OK. So now i got my Web App, HTML, and i got my Google Script file here. So the first function I'm going to go through is this Do Get. And this is a standard function with Google Apps Script and it's got a return of E in it. Uh, this is actually what gets the web app started. So this is a must. You need this function in here. And basically what it's returning is the HTML file. So it's important to have this name match your file name here. Because this is going to be opening up your HTML file to display. So this is, this is how it gets the whole thing started with this command. My second command is how I am getting the results back to the screen from the Google Sheet. And I'll go through this just a bit later in the video here. So next we're going to build our HTML page. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my input boxes for the filter. So here I got my three three inputs, my type, my color, and my height. And height consists of two inputs, so it's really four inputs. So you got your height 1 and height 2. Height 1 is your lowest value, height 2 is your highest value. And I got a dash in between both of them. My next input here is my submit button, which is going to call, call a JavaScript function called get report, and I'll copy that in here soon. And then my last thing here is my table display. This is where I'm going to display my table through these div tags here. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my JavaScript. So there I have it copied. And I got my script tags here. So I got my script up here and script down here, the closing tag. My function is get report. 
and how this is called again is through the submit button on the screen. So what get report does is it grabs the values of the four input boxes that I have displayed, which is type, color, and height, the low and the high. So height one, height two. The next thing I'm doing is I'm calling a Google script function here. And the function's at the bottom of this. See, this is the opening, opening part of this. And down here is the closing here. But there's an added thing. This is the function that you're going to be calling, which this is over here on your Google script, get results SQL. And what it's going to do is it's going to pass in the type, color, height one, and height two. So I'm going to go back over here. So you got type, color, height one, and height two. That's coming from up here. So they're passed in to this function call here. Now this function here, which is inside, gets called on a post process. So once it is done running through this, grabbing all the records and stuff, it passes them back over here to the web app and passes that array of information through this AR. And then next, this is a log out, which you, I'll show you later in the video how you can see this. You can see the array getting passed between to your HTML web page through the browser. There's a way you can check that. You don't need this comment. You can comment it out, but it's good for debugging. The next thing I'm doing is I'm setting up my table string. So I'm starting it with this display table and display table. I'm having this equal to table with a border of one and cell padding. Cell padding kind of makes the table look a little nicer, gives it a little space. The next function I'm calling is this for each. So we're going, we're taking out a array, which is AR. I'm doing a for each. I'm using the item and index index of the array for each record and item for each record. So from there, when the index equals zero, that's my header record. And then else, everything after that. So every index after zero, zero is always going to be your first record, and that's always going to be my header record. So I'm displaying in the th tag, the header tags, and then the td is I'm displaying every other row after that. And I'm closing my table here. And then from there, I am adding it to these tags down here. So this display tab here, display tab, display table here, and display table here, I'm passing the table, which is the table tags, into this, inside these div tags. So it displays on the screen after submitting. And that is the end of that function. That's the end of the JavaScript function. And I will post this code in the first comment of the video so you can have it. The next part is I'm going to describe the Google Apps Script part of this. So again, I am passing in my parameters that I'm wanting to filter. This is the URL of my sheet here, up here. So I just copied and pasted that in here. Here I am opening up the URL with this call with the SS passing in this URL here. So I'm opening up my sheet. I'm declaring my sheet two and my sheet one. I'm going to need both. Sheet one is going to be the data I'm pulling from. Sheet two is my summarized data before I pass it to the, the form, the HTML web app form. Next, I'm building my SQL statement. So I'm doing a select A, B, and C where one equals one. This means it's going to pull everything because one always equals one is going to pull A, B, and C. And A, B, and C is your first three columns, A, B, and C here. From there, if, tap is, if type is not equal to nothing, it's going to build on to this SQL statement. So then I'm going to use a and A, which A is my type here, and that equals which would be the type that I'm passing through. So again, if I'm typing in something for type, 
I want this SQL only to pull things that equal to my A column. That goes for the same thing with color. If color, if, if I'm passing a color through here, I'm going to add a statement to my SQL that says if B equals color here, again, I'm building my SQL statement. Now, height's a little different. So if the height, the first one, equals something, and height 2 doesn't, I'm just going to make them equal. So it's the same value. So if you put in 30 for the low, I'm going to put 30 for the high. Now, if you populate both, I'm just going to take both of the values you populate. So if height 1 is 0 and height 2 is 100, then we're going to build this statement up here where C is greater than or equal to height 1, which is my low, and height 2, C has to be less than or equal. And again, C is my height column. From there, I'm getting the last row of my sheet 1, and I'm building the range of data in which I want to look to filter. So again, my range is sheet 1, A1, which is again here, starting with this spot right here, and I'm taking the last row, I'm going over to the column C, and I'm grabbing the last row, which is from this statement. So again, it's going to take it all the way down here. And if you add a couple more rows, it's just going to take the next one, the furthest one down where it's populated. From there, I'm building my query statement. So it starts with equals query. This is a formula. This is a Google Sheets formula. So I got my query here. And then I got my, starting with my table range, is the first input of this query formula. So I'm adding it there. Then I got a comma. And I put my SQL statement. Which, is up, which I built up here, a combination of all these things I put right here. Then I close that. Next thing I do is I set that SQL, I set that query statement into A, or the A1 of sheet 2. So I go back over here, I go to sheet 2, and I place it right there. And as soon as I place it, it's going to fire that query statement off, and it's going to show me the table from my filter right here. So then after that happens, I'm going to grab those results that's in sheet 2, pick it up, turning it into array, and then sending it off. And I'm sending those results off again back over to my web page. Those results come back into AR here. And then that's where I take it, I convert it to a table, and then it displays out onto the web screen. So let's go ahead and save everything here. So everything is saved. I'm going to go up to publish. I'm going to go deploy my web app. I'm going to say new. I'm going to hit test here. So our first time around, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do only myself at this time. Or deploy. I'm going to go through our permissions, review permissions. Select my account. Advanced. Go to Google App Report. And then I'm going to click Allow. So here I got my URL ready. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. If I can get a copy on it. I hit OK here. I'm going to go up here, start a new screen. I'm going to hit enter. And there it shows up. Now I can run it. I can hit red in here. Submit. And it pops in my data. And this data that's coming through here can be seen over here on sheet 2 is where I'm really pulling it from. And here I'm setting my query formula here in A1. And this is reading out my SQL statement of select A, B, and C, 101, and B equals red. And that pulls that data in here. And then from there, I'm pulling that data over to the web app on this screen. There's one other thing I want to show you before we conclude this video. If you go up here and hit these three dots, go to more tools, go to developer tools, brings up this window. And here you can see the array that comes back to the screen. There's where it's, I got my header row and my bike row here, which is returns. And all that comes from 
if you want to see that in the background, so we go back over here, you see this console log. That's what's displaying that over here. And again, this is good for debugging because you can actually see if it's firing, if it's actually coming back. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.